Hi guys, hi everybody, it's your girl Lila Cleuda. If you're new here, I want to welcome you all to my channel. If you're returning back, guys, I want to say thank you for your massive support. Oh, I can't say anything. I want to say thank you to you all. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Today, I have another exciting, exciting story for you. Um, today, I just want us to, uh, it's a chilling day. I just want to tell you a story of how I was conned three times. Oh, you know, I was called that somebody's gonna bring me to the UK, and not once, not once or twice, three times, guys. I was called three times by people, you know. And we, my sister, sent massive amount of money, and up to date, I wanna tell you the truth, that money has never come back. It was gone, 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 gone. And to make the matter worse, the third time I was conned by a priest. A priest. We went to the church. He had a big church and many people went to the church. And the money disappeared, guys. It went up to date. And I was, uh, the, the last one, we were so many of us. I remember me, it was me and my cousin. But we were meeting, we used to go to those crusades, all those people who were, we were going there. And we were like 600 or 500 people who were coming. Some were going to the UK, others were going to America. Different people were going to different places. And that was a sham. Uh, so that was my, I want to tell you about my story. So when I got conned and... You know, I had given up, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I gave up in coming to the UK. I used to admire a lot when my sisters came back to Kenya. I used to admire the life, you know? You know, when they tell me, and it's true, the life here is good. You cannot compare back with back at home. It's good because, you know, there's opportunities like going to school. There's opportunity of good jobs. There's an opportunity of a bet bettering your life, you know? There are all these good opportunities and I wanted to be part of the opportunities. But as much as I tried, things just became tougher and tougher and tougher. And people conned us money. People conned my sister's money. And it became to a point I was like, you know, sis, I wanted to go, but I think God had not planned this for me. So I had given up completely. I had given up and I said... This is not mine. So the last time, the last time is when, when, you know, even when they were pushing me, oh, bring, come, come to this place, go and take this, go and that. I did not have any interest. Like, I remember my passport. Oh, my God. That's another story for another day. The papers were torn. It was really, really dirty because I used to live in Arusha. So I used to travel a lot. I used to work in... Arusha and TZ. So I used to travel a lot with my passport. So my passport was dusty, was so, you know, even I was telling my, uh, the lady, my sister's friend who we came with, you know, you, <laughs> I can only see you going. I don't think they can allow anybody who has got this kind of passport to, to go to their country. I had no um, hope that they would give me a visa, but guess what guys, they gave it to me. So I applied and when I applied my visa to come to the UK, I had my business back home. I used to have a boutique shop. I used to sell cosmetic and I had my good customers who used to support me. And I, I was doing very well. I have to tell you that. I was doing so well back home before I came to the UK. So what I did and what it's very important when you're applying your visa to the UK or to America or to Germany, just make sure you have the right documents, what they are requesting. There's no shortcut, guys. If this is what they want, make sure you have what they want. Because there's no shortcut. If you don't have it, if you're not showing, they, they don't see any straightforward thing, my dear, you will not get that visa. They will not give it to you. So make sure you have the right document. Whatever, no matter how, you know, they want to show, to see how truthful you are. So make sure you before you take your papers or you, you apply for the visa, make sure you prepare. Give yourself time to prepare yourself and have all the documents. And I tell you me, when you take the right things, 
Even when if they're not gonna give give you, you can always uh, ask them why because you had the right things. So one thing first, my last time I had the right documents. The other one was sham. Nobody took me to the embassy. It was just us meeting there in River Road and taking these pictures. I tell you, they were taking me pictures day in, day out. And guess what? They didn't bring me to the UK. But when I applied my papers to the embassy, straight to the embassy, I got an invitation and I see this is an invitation and I applied to the embassy. That's when I got my visa. So don't allow people to lie to you. If they are inviting you, if they are helping you, just tell them to show you the invitation letter. If you're coming to school, just go and Google and see what do the school require. What I don't have, what do I have, what do I need to do, you know? And when you have the right document, apply to the embassy. Don't be scared. Even if you're applying on online, apply it. If they will give you, they will give you. They don't need a third party to give you. If they will not give you, they will still not give you. I want to make that point correctly. If they want to give you, they'll give you. Just make sure you have the right procedure. I see people like on Facebook and you know, and people are like, oh, when Jane went to the UK, she doesn't want to help us again. Oh, she's now bossy. She's now this, she's not that. I can't do anything for me. I can only tell you what to do. But I cannot go there. There, there's no TKK. You know how Kenya is talking to Kidogo for me to help you? No, it's not like this. I don't know anybody there. Even my sisters bringing me here, they don't know anybody. No. Yes, I was given an invitation. Yes. you. But if you don't get an invitation, you can still come. There are more channels you can come here. You can still apply and see if you can get. They are taking nurses here. If you're qualified nurses, you can still apply. And you can still get... You don't have to have any connection. You don't need to know anybody. Just go in in the Google and 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 read for yourself. Like I told you, I was conned after having my two sisters here. They were still conned money and they were here and they were conned. And it was not just a small money, it was large amount of money. So my my point to you today, don't be conned. Don't let anybody con you money. You have Google. Read the what you need. If it matters with what you have, apply for it. But in case maybe somebody is inviting you, you have a friend, or you're coming for an occasion, or you're coming to do this, even the person who's inviting you, they have to send you the right documents. You know? They have to send you the right documents. And you what they read their requirement, read their requirement. Give yourself time like to go and put everything together what you need to have. Just give yourself, even if it's two months or whatever time you need to have, just give yourself that time. Make sure you have whatever papers you want. And then when you have everything you want, now you can take your documents to the embassy. You don't need channels, you don't need people, you don't need to pe meet people there in the in those corner corner places and give them money. First of all, giving all money, just somebody's giving you a receipt and giving you and giving them their money. My dear, your money will go. Mine went not once, not twice, three times. First was eighty pounds, they are eighty thousand uh, Kenyan shilling. The other the other one was sixty, and the other one was around eighty as well. You can imagine all that money went. And you know what, you know sometimes it's good to share these things because uh, I had sisters here and they were still conned. So that's how it shows that nobody knows these things. Even them, they were here, but they were still conned. So what I want to tell you, just make sure when somebody is inviting you or you're coming in any kind of situation, make sure you have the right paper. Don't make a mistake and get conned like the way I was conned. You don't want to be conned. Use the right procedure. Before you give somebody money, just make sure you know who you're giving your money to. And make sure you know what kind of things. What, make sure you read before you even sign or give some people money. Just make sure you read and be aware you're giving this money to so-and-so and you're giving them for this, kind, for this reason. Because they may say, oh, that was offering. That's what the pastor said. He said it was an offering. We gave them offering. You can imagine, guys. How can you give 80,000 Kenyan shillings? Offering. Does it happen in this world? Talk to me, guys. So, 
that's how I was called and that's how I call my visa. After using the straight way forward way, after filling forms and going to the embassy, that's how I end up getting a visa. But all those calling to the going to people's places, taking pictures, they all end up there where they started. But a right channel, you go to the embassy, you'll be asked to take these kind of documents and you take them and they'll give you the response. Either it will be yes or no. So make sure guys, if you're planning to come to the UK or you're going to the America, use the right channel. That's it for today guys. I want to say thank you for listening to me. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That's it for today. Thank you.